Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble, clean, and oil one of these Honeywell fans. Now the model number on this fan is HT900, but this method will also apply to pretty much any other Honeywell fans that look similar to this one as far as cleaning goes. Now this video is specifically tailored for people who own newer Honeywell fans, like this one that has this kind of a motor in it. If I were to get a bit more technical, this is a PSC type motor or a permanent split capacitor motor. Now these are present on these Honeywell fans that were made after about 2019, but most of the older Honeywell fans had motors that look more like this one. These are shaded pole C-frame motors. So if you wanna see a video of me taking this one apart, there is a video that I made a few years ago. I'll put that link in the description below. So this video is going to be for this one, with the PSC motor, and let's get started. All right, so step one is to remove the front grille, and the way you can do that is by removing six screws that are sort of hidden along the back of the fan. And in most cases, they're Phillips head screws, but sometimes they may be Torx screws. So you might wanna watch out when you're trying to unscrew these. So there's one up here, one over here, one down here, another one here, there, and up there. The screws are out. Now the grill should pop off now. There we go. So at this point, if you just wanna clean your fan, then you can go ahead and wipe it down and vacuum out all of the dust bunnies and follow the previous steps in reverse to assemble your fan again. But if you want to continue with oiling, then that's what we're going to do next. So the push nut is pressed onto the motor shaft like this in the hub. And you can also see that there is a flat spot on the motor shaft where the blades sort of key into when you slide it on. So what you can do is you can take a small flathead screwdriver, press the tip into the little gap there, and try to bend these tabs up so it loosens the grip on the motor shaft. It's a very tedious task and you may end up breaking the nut as you're doing that. And if you do that, it's okay because it's not really a necessity to have the nut in here for the fan to run because the forward force created while the fan runs from blowing the air forward will keep the blades pressed onto the shaft. So it's not a big deal if you do break it. And there you go. This one came off pretty easily, like I said, because I've taken this one off before. And once you do that, the blades should slide right off the motor shaft. There we go. Blades are off. So here we have the permanent split capacitor motor, or a PSC motor for short. There's a little capacitor residing in here, which makes this motor a lot more efficient and cooler running than the older Honeywell fans, which used shaded pole motors. The motor is held onto the rear housing by these two screws, so you can first take those out. Also you'll need to remove the screw that holds the capacitor in place. As well as the screw up here. So now the motor assembly is loose from the housing. And just be careful because there are some wires that are entering the motor and you do not want to rip those out. So it's loose. Alright, so at this point you have two options. So number one, you can just oil the shaft right here on the front and back here you can just oil that rear shaft there. But that's not quite as effective as going a bit more in depth. So option two is to fully disassemble the bearing housings clean them out and oil it, so we're going to do that now. So now you can take these two screws out which will loosen the bearing housings from the stator. So here we have the rotor and the front bearing assembly pulled out of the stator. 
Now, before you pull this bearing assembly off, just make sure that there is no gunk buildup on here or any raised areas on the metal, because if you were to forcefully pull it off with all that on there, it's going to scratch and ruin the bearing. And you do not want this to happen. So you can take some WD-40, spray it on some paper towel and wipe it down to make sure it's all smooth and clean. And if it's rusted or if it's if the raised areas are pretty bad, you can take a fine grit sandpaper and carefully sand all that until it's nice and smooth. So we're going to clean that right now. There we go, it came off nice and smooth. Like I said, if your bearing starts catching on something as you're pulling it out, pause and keep cleaning or sanding until it comes off nice and smooth like this. So there's the front bearing assembly, there's the rotor, and the rear bearing assembly should now pop off now that the screw is loose. Just like that. It will have a little plastic case on there, but there's the rear bearing. Alright, so now we're going to clean and oil these bearings. So here we have two oils that I like to use and I would recommend. The first one here is a 3-in-1 electric motor oil in the blue and white can. The second one is a Zoom Spout all-purpose turbine oil. Um, I personally like this a bit better because it has a nice dispenser on it. And also the oil itself, it has better film strength and it's pretty much odorless, whereas the 3-in-1 has a bit of a citric smell to it. To clean these bearings, you can take a piece of paper towel like this, roll it up into a little rod, and spin it inside there to clean them out. You can do this a few times with different pieces, and keep doing it until it comes out looking clean. If there's any black gunk on there, take a new piece and keep cleaning. Now if it's really gummy, you can take some WD-40, spray it onto the paper towel and try to clean them out. But this one is pretty clean, so there's no need for that. Same procedure for the back. I'm just reusing this because these bearings are very clean. I already oiled this fan before. So they're nice and clean now. Now as far as the rotor goes, you want to take these little thrust washers off. Now this one has a little fiber one and a little like a spongy fabric one. So take both of them off. Be sure not to mess up the order of the washers and where they go on the rotor. In the back they have two of the fibery washers and one harder plastic. So take those out as well. Now what you can do is take a piece of paper towel, clean the old oil off the shaft. front side and you can also clean the thrust washers very carefully because these are quite thin and you don't want to break them so carefully wipe them down and clean them up all right it's nice and clean I put the washers back on now let's oil the bearings so I have some of the zoom spout oil transferred into this little needle bottle and what you want to do is oil the bearing itself and also the felt wick that surrounds it. So it's kind of hard to see on this particular bearing, but inside of this housing there are little chunks of felt that will soak up the oil and dispense it to the bearing because this bearing is porous and it will dispense the oil to the motor shaft as the fan heats up while it's running. So I'm going to place a couple drops on the actual bearing and also the inside of the felt wick and be generous with the oiling so there's some oil in there I'm going to set this aside do the same thing for the front bearing assembly 
Oops, got some on the edge. And if you do spill some on the edge, just clean them up. You want to add some oil to the rotor and also the little fibrous washers there because they'll actually soak up some of the oil. All right, now it's ready for reassembly. So now you're basically just going in reverse, putting everything back together. So first thing you want to do is take the rear bearing and pop it back onto the stator. Just be careful not to uh, pinch any of the wires that are in here. Let's do that and clip it on like so. Oops. <laughs> and next you want to Put the rotor into the rear bearing. Let's just slide in like that. And lastly, you can replace the front bearing. Once you have the two screws back in place and tightened up, you will need to align the bearings, which is actually quite an overlooked step, but it's very important that you do this. So basically the bearing in here is sitting inside of a socket, so they can move around a bit, and when you take the motor apart, they sometimes go out of alignment. And even though these are called self-aligning bearings, you need to kind of help them out a bit by tapping them back into alignment. So what I do is take a back end of a screwdriver hold the motor steady and firmly tap the shaft from all directions. Tap them into this will ensure that the motor shaft is in full alignment and it will spin nice and free. Double check to make sure the shaft turns freely still. If it doesn't, give it some extra taps here and there. And now you can put the blades back on after you clean it. There is a flat spot on the blade hub that should line up with the flat spot on the motor shaft. There we go. All right, so let's talk about the push nuts again that go on the shaft here. So it's not necessary that you put these back on as long as the blades are snug on the shaft. But in this case, it's not, it's very loose on there. So you need some way to secure it on. Um, if you got these off without damaging it, you can put it back on. It'll just be a bit of a hassle the next time you take it off to clean it. But if it did break while you were taking it apart, then you can apply some hot glue in the hub here near the shaft to secure the blades on. But for me, I'm just going to put the nut back on because I managed to get it off without breaking it. All right, so now you can put the grill back on. There is a little notch on the bottom of the fan that will line up with the little tabs that are inside of there. Just make sure the logo is upright. Sometimes they'll just kind of clip on once you line them up, like that, and there we go. Alright, so with the fan all back together, it should be good to go again. Let's test it on high speed.
Runs great. We'll check out the spindo time. Very nice. So there you have it. That is how to disassemble, clean, and oil one of these newer Honeywell fans with a PSC motor in it. Hopefully this video was informative, and if you have any comments about your fan, feel free to leave them down below in the comments box, and I'll try my best to answer them. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.